friends, today I'm going to demonstrate my new project and that is an RFID card reader writer and by using this uh, board I'm going to write this type of RFID cards. For that I'm using a very easily available and cost effective RFID card reader and writer that is RC522. To power up this board I'm using a buck converter which convert my 7.4 volt power supply to the 3.3 volt and in back side of this board you can see I am using a bluetooth module to connect this board with my android phone and I am using a Atmega 328 uh, microcontroller so let's see how it works Here I am going to demonstrate the working of this RFID rewriter module and for that I have powered it up using a 7.4 volt lithium battery. Now I have made an application in App Inventor and that is an Android application here you can see and this LED light blinking shows that it is not connected through the Bluetooth. So first I will connect my device through the Bluetooth. So here you can see it is SPPCA. I am going to connect this. My application, uh, application is connected with the Bluetooth module and this LED light is stable. It is showing that it is connected. So first I will place a RFID card over there and read the information from the card. So I will place and I just press the read button this LED indication shows that it is reading and you can see nothing is written on this card so I will try an another card let's see what is written over there and here you can see whatever the information available on the card is shown over there Now I will demonstrate how we will be able to write the information on the card. For that, I will place the card, I will launch the application, I will connect it through the Bluetooth. Here it is connected, you can see the LED indication and uh, we will read the information whatever written on this card. So I will press read, here it is the information which is written already on this card so if I want to change I will change like uh, it is written test SSID I will put only the test and password is just only the pass and I will change the IP 77 in place of 7 in last and the port is assume that I am changing uh, 4444 so I am going to change this information whatever written on this card so I will press the right so the information will go there and here you can see written on card so this all information is written on this card now whenever we will read it again it will give the same information so I will change the card and then I will read first another one so this information will change like this is a blank card it is showing that no information is there so I will read this old card once again so whatever is written on this card will be shown here I am reading you can see whatever we have changed is appear over there like uh, test SSID in place of test SSID only test is there in place of password pass is there and IP is changed from 7 to 77 and port is changed so uh, everything is written on this card and it is showing the updated information so we can exit from the application now what I'll do with these all cards I'm having such a devices made which is having RFID cards installed over there and you can see ESP is also there so if I want to change the information stored on 
ESP, I'll just tap this card over there and all the information like SSID, password, port and IP will change. So uh, we can uh, program thousands of this type of uh, devices within a few minutes by using this type of card. That's why I have made this one. Thanks for watching.